Howdy everyone, Pocha here with an Age of Magic video, and in today's video we're moving into the next battle of the AI Championships. This is a quarter or a semi-finals match. We have Team 11, Poor Boy McKendall going up against Team 23, Bug Lord Kelpie, two very experienced players. And now they're facing each other, so one of them is going to move forward, one of them is going to be eliminated. So who will be moving forward to the finals? We'll move into the bands. Mark Kendall won the coin flip and decided to go first. So we have our bands. We have Tiliana from Mark Kendall's side and Wukong from Kelpie's side. Two great heroes to ban. You definitely do not want your opponent getting those heroes because Tiliana just destroys everyone and Wukong also destroys everyone, but he just gets stronger as the battle goes on. In the next bands, we have the Abaddon and the Tyros. I think Abaddon's an okay ban in this situation, especially with the amount of demons on the field. There's the Succubus and the Eraser. If you paired him up with Ab them up with Abaddon, I think it could be a pretty deadly force. And we have the Tyros. Of course, Tyros. Tyros, Tyros, Tyros. Always banned, except for once. But yeah, he's self-explanatory. Why would you want your opponent to have a Tyros? Initiative reduction, insane damage, just silly. We have the Blood Emperor from Mark Kendall. Interesting ban. Are there any other Arakan undead on the field? I don't think there are. I don't think he would really pose that much of a threat that he would sanction a ban. But he's banned all the same. And then we have the Azariel. Of course, Kelpie has to ban Azariel. If he doesn't ban Azariel, Mark Kendall will obviously pick him or her. He is the first pick, so... Smart ban. You can't let your opponent get the Azariel. Moving on to the first selections, we have the Phoenix from Mark Kendall. I think this is the first time we've seen Phoenix in the AI Championships. And we have the Mabe and the Siegfried from Kelpie. Mabe, a very, very solid choice. Siegfried, I don't know. I've, we've never been we've never been impressed by Siegfried in the AI Championships. So I think it's a bit of a letdown, to be honest. I think there's far better characters on the field that you could you could pick, but Siegfried it is. Moving on to the next selections, we have the Drevorad and Softy from Mark Handel. Drevorad, a pretty decent tank, obviously not in his prime since Cathbad isn't on the field, but still a good tank nonetheless. And the Softy, Softy's a bit of a unit. He, uh, he goes under the radar, I think. I think people really underestimated him at the beginning of the championships, but now you know his potential. Anti-healing can lock down melee abilities, I believe it is. He's, he's quite a good unit. On Kelpie's side, we have the Succubus and Tahit. So Succubus, a solid choice, I think. Even though her lockdown's a bit RNG, it still potentially could lock down three targets, which is, is pretty strong. And the Tahit, I think Tahit's a strong pick here as well. Tahit does more damage when dots are on the enemy, and Succubus and Mabe can both put dots on the enemy. So yeah, I think maybe he could he could do some work here. Moving on to the final selections for both players, we have the Pig Boy and the Eraser from Mark Kendall. Pig Boy, just uh, yeah, Pig Boy. And Eraser, Eraser actually not too bad. Can lower the stats of the enemy, can heal demons, so he'll heal himself a little. There are no other demons on the team, but yeah, he's a pretty solid unit. Can do some AoE damage, which is always nice, especially when the enemy doesn't have any healing. I think an, a little bit of AoE damage is always, always appreciated. And then we got the Raspit with Kelpie. Kelpie picking his theme. He's picking the bugs. So he's got the Raspit, which is a unit of a champion. He can... Uh, Apply that dot, which does percentage health damage. So there's no restrictions to that. That's going to hit 20%, I believe it is, no matter what. If he triggers the, if a rogue triggers the mark, then the enemy is looking into doing some, or uh, taking some pretty serious damage. Moving into the subs now, we've got the Fire from Pool Boy and Mark Kendall. Fire is actually a pretty decent unit. I think he he offers a lot to a team, but you know offers more when the team is a full light team, or is it casters? Light casters, I think it is. Either way, he's pretty solid. And then we have the Riser. Kelpie cannot let the bugs go. So Riser, pretty solid choice. So those are the teams the opponents are going, or the players are going to use. We'll jump into the arena, see how they play out, and where will we go on from here? Going into the first round, and Kelpie's team hits on with a fair bit of onslaught, bit of silence, bit of dots, and with Tahit on the field, dots are going to be very, very beneficial to him as he does more damage. As finally, 
McKendall's finally going to get some attacks out. However, it's going to go up against the Siegfried, the buffed up Siegfried. And a lot more damage now coming out from, well, it's actually not a lot. All the just debuffs are being applied at the moment. And we're going to start seeing some damage on Trevorard now. He gets a big chunk hit from the poison from Raspit. He's very close to dying. The debuffs are removed by Phoenix. And the Trevorard hangs on a little longer as the AoE comes out, removing critical hit chance from the enemy. That's going to give Markando a little bit more room to move as he starts attacking the Succubus. If he can take out anyone really on the enemy team, he should be pretty good. But that Trevor had very close to dying and the enemy no longer attacking him. But is the bleed from the Succubus Silence going to kill Trevor Rod? If not, Again, Mark Kendall might be in a pretty good position as all, a lot of enemies are brought to critical HP. Succubus first fold the poison is put back out. Phoenix removing, no, not removing debuffs, uh, but healing the Trevor Rod back up to full HP as Raspit falls. And the last character on the field is... The Tahit, who is quickly taken out. And the first point going to Mark Kendall. I honestly thought looking at this team lineup that it was going to be Kelpie that won the first round. I just felt like his team had a bit more offense, especially with the Siegfried and allowing his characters to make room for those those attacks and the setups that he needed to. But unfortunately, it was an outstanding victory by Mark Kendall in the first round. We'll take it over to the competitors now and see if they're going to sub in their sub. But yeah, it's going to be a tough run for Kelpie at this point. So moving into the next battle and the... Oh, Kelpie has taken out his Succubus and put in Ryza. An interesting change, to be honest. I feel like I would have taken out Siegfried to get as much damage going as possible, but that's the choice he's gone with. The poison comes out on the Drevorad, and unfortunately, the poison is not triggered as the healer mark went out before Ryza could strike, but still should be able to take out Drevorad. I don't see why not. He's very close to die. Oh, he comes back to life. He is he if they can take him out it's a big big help i just don't know if they'll be able to there you go there's the aoe and i feel like because the taunt out yep of course the ai is going to go for a different target instead of just taking out the one target that has very little hp the tahit falls the softy's doing work in the background of course the mabe is silencing the pig boy because we all know the ai does not target phoenix anymore so <clears throat> Unfortunately, Kelpie's team is just slowly, slowly dwindling. There's not much more he can do at this point. I'll be surprised if he can even take out the Drevorard. It'd be nice. It, it, there we go. The taunt's going to help Kelpie. Nope, it's not. It's not in any way. Mark Kendall takes the second point. Both points going to Mark Kendall. Kelpie not winning any battles, unfortunately, and being eliminated from the competition. We'll head over and look at the leaderboard. With Mark Kendall moving forward. Unfortunately, his competition hasn't been picked yet, but we'll go look anyway. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, our first finalist, Pool Boy Mark Kendall. His opponents will be either Mermaid Natty or Body by Zoo. Those are the two possible outcomes for his next match, and their match will be coming up pretty close. So if you bet on one of these three people, you are still in the running to win your prize. You pretty much have a 33% chance of winning. Actually, no, that's not right. Maths. Hard. If you're betting on Pool Boy, Mark Kendall, you got a 50% chance of winning. If you're betting, I don't know. You've got a high percent of winning at this point. So, yeah, we'll, uh, that will do. Let's, uh, yeah. So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I will answer to the best of my ability. And wherever you are in the world, until next time, please take care of yourself.